What up, YouTube? And you're back with Real Lil Benzy. So today on this tutorial, excuse me, and my grandma Bonnie, um, I got hit with another, you know, hair. Another hair company hit me up and wanted to collab, wanted to work. They said they liked my energy. So before we get this video started, I need you to comment, like, subscribe, notification bell, you know, the usual, the usual. So let's get started on this video. Fuck you saying, little nigga. Little nigga. Fuck you saying, little nigga. Yeah. Fuck you saying, little nigga. Yeah. Fuck you saying, little nigga. Fuck you, who paying my nigga? All right, so I was hit up by another hair company. You know, I've done a previous one. There's many to come. So this hair company is called D Sora Hair. I think I'm saying it right. It say D Sora Hair or D Sora Hair. Is it D Sora or D Sora? I don't know. But this is what it came in. Disor. But it came in a nice box. The only thing I was upset about is the mailing company because I know they didn't send me no bent up box. But you know, it came in the mail. It came in a um a plastic like bag or whatever. Um, this is really neat. They have instructions on the back, hair care, how to wash your hair, um, even pictures, even steps. And that's really dope. That is really fun. Um, not really fun, but you know what I'm trying to say. But um, they got a YouTube, they got a Facebook, and they got an Instagram. And you know, you can go always go follow them and look them up. Um, so I have one of their hairs. What I have is they, let me see if the paper's still in. What are you doing with the paper? Nice, Benz, you lost the paper. Okay, well, I'm not tripping because I have it pulled up on my email. Locked, great, your computer's locked. So, um, let me unlock my computer. Good thing I can't see my password. Okay, there we go. So, the hair that I was sent by Desora, oh, I didn't get to tell you what, what came in the box. They actually sent some goodies. They sent a nice, silk bonnet i ain't even mad at y'all in it silk these what y'all be needing for that hair don't be getting them cotton bonnets or them um fried chicken bonnets uh, that you get from work don't be using those use these they give you one and they actually sent you some lashes now i've seen these lashes before they're not too dramatic um i've never used them but i have seen them um um, I've seen them before for people having them and whatnot, but these are the lashes And they actually look durable Because uh, I've gotten lashes that did not look durable, but these actually look like yeah, I can pull them off lashes Like I can work with them. So um, the hair that I was given was Peruvian natural wave. I got a 20 inch closure um, Two 20 uh, a 20 inch closure um, a 20 inch bundle and two 20 in two 20 inch bundles in the hair um, in the package and they was they're a nice length you know I always go longer or I go shorter I never get in the middle but these lengths are like in the middle they stop about right here um, so for this video I'm gonna be putting on this wig it's a closure wig y'all know I really I'm always wearing frontals but they sent me a closure and I'm gonna make it work. I always, you know, and um, it's gonna be a glueless wig because closures, you can make it to glueless wigs easily. Um, making frontals in the, uh, into glueless wigs are a little bit harder because it measurement the size of your head and whatnot, whatnot. Closure wigs are a lot easier because they like these. As long as it wraps around, it's good, but like I said, we're gonna see how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my grandma bonnet off. I did wash my hair and replat it. Um, I'm supposed to be going to get it cut and silk press, so that's gonna be a whole nother YouTube of its own because I haven't had nobody cut my hair in over four years. I'll say four years. I haven't had nobody touch my hair for real. And um, just because I just don't like everybody in my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my braids. Go ahead, tuck them. Um, if you still need to, um, I still, 
I'm, I'm still gonna do this uh, process of um, putting a little bit concealer on my um, front, oh, not my front, but my wig cap. Okay, I'm missing um, a makeup brush, nice. Fuck it, I will use this one. Just across the top. Well, I, I keep, I'm so used to wearing frontal, so I went all the way over to the ear. Since you don't have a frontal on and it's like your closure stops in the middle, just go ahead and put a little bit in the in the middle where your part gonna be. Um, with this, it's just, it helps it blend for me, I think so. Because this, this uh, brown cap is a tad um, light on me. I'm a little darker than that, but this is the wrong makeup brush. I can't find my freaking um my my wig brush because I got an actual makeup brush that actually I use for that, and I can't find it. So y'all see, I just use my regular powder concealer. I need to go get some more. I've had that powder concealer for forever. So go ahead and bring her out. Bring her out. Yes. I put one of my business cards on the front because I just thought it was cute. Eventually, I have a sticker to put across, but as of right now, we're just going to put my business card across the front. But, um, but look at that. Look, look at that. I have not washed the whole entire hair because I wanted to see how it do in its natural state. The only thing that I did wash was the closure because, of course, y'all know I bleach my knots. That's how the knots are. Um, they bleach fairly well for the first time. I could do another bleaching, but I didn't want to over process them or anything, but that's how they look on the first bleach. Just a, um, I probably say a good 20 minute bleach. Um, I did pluck the front a little bit. I did, um, what is it? What's the word called? I did customize the front of it. Cause like I said, this is kind of like a free part. It's a, I believe to be a four by four closure. Um, free part. A free part is where you could part this little slither of closure anywhere. Uh, and a lot of people prefer closure wigs over frontal because they don't want to glue their hair or anything like that. Um, so I did sew the hair down because it came in bundles. I sewed it down but my goofy self had one of these on the mannequin head and was sewing the actual cap to the cap. So if y'all like that's not that's not a bad thing. I just was double sewing the um, caps. But let's go ahead and put on this glueless wig real quick. closure goes all the way to right here I have spoiled myself and always get um frontal so my frontal parts usually go about to back here or further that's just me but I feel like I got a round face today but that is a glueless glueless wig right there friend like look at that that's glueless Glueless. You can make it look. I, I might need to make y'all some more glueless wigs, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off. Um, where is my razor? I don't know where my scissors are. I, I don't know where a lot of things are in here. I clean up and then I mess it back up. So, let me see.
I'm just trying some out. Cause I've been looking. Um, I'm not done, hold on. I'm not cutting it in a straight line because from what I've noticed, every time I cut in a straight line, it'll make it look bulky. So I'm kind of just like jagging it up. Like it's still in a straight line, but it's jagged, uh, it's jagged up a little bit. So let me go ahead and reapply. Uh, reapply this gel real quick. I'm not styling this wig just yet. That's a whole nother video, so. I'm just applying it. I, uh, I use got to be gel or glue, got to be glue gel, got to be glue gel. And like I said, you don't have to glue this down. I'm not using my wig, my funnel is not applied with no, uh, I don't even have clips on this wig. Because um, I just didn't feel like putting clips in this wig just yet. And then plus I am out of clips. So my clippy ass, excuse my language, have to go get some more clips. So. Because y'all know I like the baby hairs. Oh no, I just I always like baby hairs. Eventually, I won't do one more. I might make wigs where you don't need baby hair, but most of my wigs, I have a whole lot or I don't have any, um, or I have too many. That just depends on the wig. No, you gotta play around with the baby hair, though, you do, to get it the way you want. And you just swoop it back up in there, just hold it down. Hold it down, sis, hold it down. And then, like, mm, go ahead and swoop it a little more. We're gonna bring it down. Bring it down. Do y'all see, look at that lace. Boy, look, look, look y'all see that lace. Do y'all see that? Like, and like I said, that was just for me cutting it jaggedly. Um, I am going to put a little bit of, um, what is it, concealer powder on it. Um, I've been looking into um, getting the spray. I know everybody's been asking me about it, a, um, a lace tint spray. I have to look into that because I've been seeing a lot of people use it. What do y'all see that? Y'all see how blended that is? Like, I like that. I don't, I love lace make. A lace can make or break your wig, sis. Let, let me say this, let me say this for everybody in the back. Lace can make or break your wig. Because there is a such thing as bad lace. There's a, bad, it's a such thing as, you know, cause I didn't put this on the um, actual wig. It was more or less, um, cause I wanted to see how it would uh, work. But that is your wig, like, Look at this, y'all see this? Oh, y'all snapping. Okay, this saw and the crazy part was this Peruvian wave is, it's, it reminds me, it's a deep wave, but it's a lot softer. It's a lot softer than a, 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 a Brazilian deep wave. It's really soft. Like, I don't, I don't know, this, I don't wear clothes, but today might be the day. Y'all know I, I love my frontals, but man, Closures are so much easier. You could just you could slide it off. Like, look, look at this. This is in its normal state. And it is good. Like, this is, God, they is snapping. Like, the saw. Oh, man, y'all is going in. Oh, I don't think y'all know. Look at this. And this is only three bundles. This is only three bundles. I used every piece of hair, but this right here. Um, because I wanted to keep a little bit of hair out for, um, I was going to do a hairstyle with it or whatever, but I'm going to show y'all if I, we'll see. But I, this is all that was left. I could have put it in there anywhere because they bundles, 
they webs or thin, but, 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 the webs were thin, meaning they're easier to fold and everything lay flat. Like, this is, look at this. Y'all not see this. Y'all, I don't know what y'all, y'all don't understand. Like, look at this. Look at, look at this. It's soft. It smell good. Like, look at this. They snapping. I gotta give it to you, this soil. Y'all, y'all snapping with this hair. And I, I love weave. I, I, I. I love weave. I love it. I love to smell it, touch it, make it. It's an art in its own nature. So, let's see. If y'all like this hair, I'm going to put everything in the box below. I'm going to put how you get it, what website, who to call, who to text, who to WhatsApp, who to email. And they answer, um, I was communicating with them uh, later on in the night because, like I said, we're on two different time clocks. But they answer really fast really efficient uh, really efficient and i i'm i am they got my hand clapping i don't clap for nobody y'all know that i don't i don't i don't clap for nobody so i need y'all to go ahead and comment like subscribe and go ahead and check out the store check check them out we're gonna have another video on how to style this marvelous mane so y'all better keep out keep a lookout and like i said i'm happy with the store i am i am happy I'm happy, so I said, until the next video.